Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna walk you through the Icon Variant Pro Helmet available at Revzilla.com. So what you're gonna see on the table is a red Icon Variant Pro. This is the brand new helmet from Icon, which is replacing the Icon Variant. That is the white helmet that you're gonna see next to me. So we're gonna look at these side by side so you can get a really clear idea of what you're gonna see as a change. But realistically, the Pro is just an updated version of the variant with a few key changes. The variant is going away, but this has been a really great helmet for Icon's line. It's been a great seller for them. So they didn't wanna break the mold. They just wanted to throw some refinement on it for some of the complaints that customers have had. The price, however, is not changing. The new helmet will still sit at that $350 price point, and there is going to be the Revzilla price match guarantee. So you are guaranteed to get the lowest price on any helmet that you're looking at, any gear whatsoever that's sold on Revzilla.com. That out of the way. Realistically, what you're seeing from a change standpoint, the shell has been redesigned. You're now gonna have a removable peak system. We'll go through that in a little bit. And this is really going to be that you know adventure street hooligan helmet. It's not really a true adventure helmet because you're not gonna have an easy time using goggles with this, um, if at all and you're looking at a helmet that's really based more on a street platform, but it does give you more that hooligan style that Icon has become synonymous with. So let's walk through what you can expect with this just from the basics. So it is gonna be a fiberglass shell. There are now three shell sizes. So that's one of the changes that has been made. The outgoing helmet only had two shell sizes. So now the size breakdown is gonna run from extra small to small from medium to large and from extra large all the way up to three extra large. Three EPS liners within that breakdown. It is a DOT ECE rated helmet, three pounds, 10 ounces in a medium. That's three ounces less than what we saw in the outgoing medium. So depending on the size that you go with, we're gonna say you can expect to see about a three to four ounce weight reduction in the new helmet. So it is going to be lighter than what we've had in the outgoing one, and the fitment has changed slightly. The old one leaned a little bit towards the long oval side. When we say long oval, it's gonna be very long front to back, slightly narrower down the side of the head. This is gonna be more of a true intermediate oval. Intermediate oval is gonna be a little bit longer front to back, a little bit more room on the side of the head, and intermediate oval works for the majority of riders out there in the American market. So just keep that in mind. They have refined the internal fit. So, so far, we've already discussed three changes. They've gone to three shell sizes, they've made the helmet lighter, and it is now a more comfortable helmet for the majority of riders out there. So the other thing you'll note when we talk about just the shell design is if we face this side by side with the other one, with the outgoing one, you'll notice these giant slash cutaways at the bottom and the back of the helmet has really been given more of an aggressive look. So when you're looking at this, you now have this real kind of a slash, it's cut out into the actual helmet shell itself. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, I've worn the helmet, it doesn't seem like it catches on anything, but it seems like you know putting this in there from a styling perspective might have some adverse effects if this actually catches on something in a crash. The other thing you'll note is that it has what looks to be like that same cutout of the Airframe Pro um, along the back, but they then filled it in with a little bit more of this uh, hard plastic, so it doesn't give you that same cutout design. I wish that if they were gonna incorporate this, this would have incorpor been incorporated the same way of the actual cutout um, that you see with something like the Airframe Pro. The biggest win that I've seen from the shell perspective is that you now have a helmet that has a removable peak to it, and it's done in a very simple design. There is a push button to the top of this. So what you do is you push the button in, the peak rolls forward, and then it simply pops off when it gets to the right spot. You'll notice on the side here, you have these little holes, and then you can see the notches where the peak goes into. Now, you cannot use this without the peak. If you try to take, if you try to open or close the face shield, it will pop off. This is actually the same way you would remove the face shield now. So it's a much simpler design than the little side pods and the whole mechanism on the old one. The old one was really a pain in the butt. The new one, extremely easy to use, extremely simple. What you can't do is you can't remove this and use it without the face shield if you wanna use goggles because there's gonna be a gap in there and you can't remove this and add side pods. Now we talked to Icon 
They said that the reason that they're not going to add SciPods to this at the time being, they might throw them in later down the road, is that if you really want to go with the face shield removal and a peak, that's where you'd be looking at the Air Flight. Remember, the Air Flight is that new helmet from them that has that crazy face shield to the front, but you can actually add a peak to it. They're going to say that that's the helmet you want to consider. So if you want more functionality with mixing and matching between face shields and peaks, take a look at the Air Flight and combining that. This really is designed to be used with the peak in place. And to put it back on, you're gonna simply line up the, uh, you can see actually, I'll show you, there's the little peg on the inside of this peak part right here, and the little notches. That's gonna simply be lined up from the bottom. So again, the same way you took it off, you just rotate that forward, and you can feel where it begins to grab. As you're rotating it up, you use your thumbs, slide that in, and now the peak is back into place. So that's the same mechanism you would use if you wanted to remove the face shield itself. Um, in the most open position, you can see the face shield still sits down along the edge there. So if you were trying to use goggles with this, um, the, the actual strap of the goggle doesn't have a clear line of sitting against the, uh, the helmet shell. So that's where I would say this is not going to be that true ADV helmet in the fact that using goggles with the face shield still installed isn't going to be the, uh, the most efficient way to use this. The ventilation system has changed too. On the old one, you had vents up top that were actually activated on the top of the non-removable peak system. Because the new peak system is removable, you now have vents. Actually, this would have been easier if I would have showed you <laughs> while this was off. So it's actually so quick and easy that I can pull it off again. Um, but you do have the side actuated vents down here and a top actuated vent there. Not gonna be the most ventilated adventure helmet on the market, um, but again, for those of you looking for more of that hooligan street style, you are gonna have three vents at the top of this, and then you are gonna have a revised chin vent. Now, the chin vent on the old one was actuated from the outside. The new one, you have to reach up on the inside, and the vent will be actuated um, on the inside of the, uh, of the face on that one. Let's go ahead, we'll throw this back on. Easy peasy, use our thumb, squeeze it back into place, set to go. Really easy on and off with that peak. Vents on the back, there are two exhaust vents, they are just passive, so there's nothing to mess around with on the back of that. Taking a look at the inside of the helmet. So what you're gonna see here is a very similar design to what we saw to the Airframe Pro. You have a five piece interior that you can size differently. You can actually get different cheek pads, different liners for this. You have to buy the whole kit, it's a five piece kit. Um, and then you can mix and match if you wanna fine tune the fitment for the helmet. If I rotate it all the way up, you can see that's the actual switch that I was talking about earlier for activating the chin vent on this particular helmet. Pulling the liner out, you're gonna have a Velcro liner with a combination of straps. So Velcro along the base, straps at the top. You can see you have a clear medium size so you can mix and match those liners. The cheek pads, are the, there are gonna be pods actually for the, uh, the speaker cutouts. You can see that those are gonna be over there. So there will be the, uh, the little detents cut into the liner itself if you wanna add speakers to this, if you wanna add a comm system. And realistically, the, uh, the rest of the helmet is gonna be very similar to what we saw to the old one, but you now do have this five piece liner system and snaps on these. It just allows you to really fine tune the fitment. So that's one of the things that Icon has been doing is allowing for the fine tuning of the fitment. Hydro Dry is the liner. This is something I've used. I have an Airframe Pro, I have an Air Flight. I really think that Icon's been doing a great job with the you know, overall quality of their helmets. They've really took a giant step forward from what we've seen you know, five, six, seven years ago from Icon. Um, and this is going to be something that is really pretty much on par with some of the more premium helmet manufacturers that we're seeing. Take a look at the inside, just along the EPS. You are gonna have those channeled cutouts in the EPS that work all the way down from the front to the back. Realistically, all I'd like to see are larger cutouts for the ventilation. Um, but for those of you out there that were fans of the outgoing variant, the variant pro price hasn't changed, but what you are seeing is you're seeing some really nice little upgrades with the removable peak, with the shell redesign. Um, some of the things that I'm not sure that I'm sold on are again, those slashes in the back. I wish there would have been a way for me to remove the, uh, the actual face shield itself so I could use goggles with this. Just some of those additional little refinements, I think, would have just put this over the top. But Icon hasn't raised the price, 
And for those of you out there that are a fan of the old one, this is gonna be a nice step forward. If you are someone that has never used a variant before, you're interested to see what other folks have to say, now would be the time where you wanna click on the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews. You can leave your own feedback as well if you're out riding in one of these helmets. If you're still not sure what to go with, give one of our gear geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to csrevzilla.com. They can walk you through all the different helmets that are available and make sure that you get set up with the right helmet for your ride. I wanna thank you for joining us today for this quick look at the Icon Variant Pro. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.